I've lived in Tinsley all my life. I was born there, in actual fact, on a house on Sheffield Road, and that's 57 years ago. I was there till I was about, what, 12, 13, something like that. Then we moved further up onto St Lawrence Road. Then I moved back down onto Sheffield Road, and then when I got married, I moved onto Ferrers Road, and now I live up on Maplebeck Road. One thing I do remember from being uh, at school, when I was at the junior school, uh, they built the new junior school just after I'd started at the old one and uh, we had to move from one building to the other. I remember walking up the road carrying a box full of stationery from one school to the other. Uh, and while we were at the new school, they started building the motorway. That was the reason why we'd had to move out of the old one so they could knock it down to make room for it. Uh, and I can distinctly remember standing on the school playing field looking at the building site and seeing all the gigantic earth movers moving up and down. Uh, and I'd, uh, you could hear the pile drivers going as they were driving the piles to put the, the columns up for the, uh, the viaduct. A lot of people I spoke to didn't want it, uh, but I think that's because they realised that you know, part of the community was going to disappear. Uh, and although they, they moved people out of the area into new housing that was built around Tinsley at the time, uh, the uh, a lot of people did actually move away from the area and I think that was the, the start of um, a decline in the community spirit probably in that area. In Tinsley people always talk about the fact that we're a forgotten area and everybody seems to think Sheffield finishes when it gets to the motorway. It, it's probably just our perception but we do seem to be neglected a little bit out there. Um, if you look at the figures they probably, the council probably spend as much money on us as they do in any other area but it just, it just appears that way. Another early recollection I've got is the, uh, the power station that was there. Uh, every now and again you get this enormous blast of steam coming out uh, and it was really noisy. Um, and of course, once that had gone, it seemed very quiet. Uh, and now the last vestiges have gone, the cooling towers went down. Um, we actually went down to Meadow Hall to watch them being blown up. Uh, it was a, quite a sad occasion really, because I think there were uh, probably the last memento of the, the industrial heritage of that area. Um, we've still got things like the Magna, of course, but that's not as noticeable as those two enormous towers were as you're driving down the motorway. You saw them and you thought, I'm home. There were some people that, that were definitely in favour of them being knocked down. Um, and fair enough, you, you've got to make way for um, progress. It's, it's one of the things that you've got to, to accept in life. Uh, but I think there's also a place for nostalgia and to be honest, looking at the site that they've got there now, where the cooling towers were stood, they've not touched that area. So they could have left them there. I admitted they needed some money spending on them to make them safe, but they could have used that as a, as a sort of a, a heritage centre or a, a visitor's centre of some description. You never really appreciate anything until it's not there. Uh, and I think because of the fact that the face of that area has changed considerably, people do like to see artwork that reflects what the place used to look like uh, and it somehow preserves that little bit of heritage and makes people feel like they've got some roots.